Well, it's a challenge in all successful cities that population grows. The key measure of the success of any city is does the population grow or does it decline? When the population is growing, like it is in Bogota, some of the population growth will happen inside the city and some of the population growth happens in the region. The problem is that population growth on its own is not a good thing. It's well-organized population growth that is important. So what we need to do is to have an integrated regional strategy, a strategic plan, a vision for the future of the region that puts together the things that have to be together. Transportation systems, land use planning, housing, jobs, water, food, and a system that allows us not to contribute even more to climate change. So the only way we can do this is to recognize that we need one strategic plan, not 20 plans. And if we have this, we have the beginnings then of creating a shape for how the growth will occur, linking housing with land use planning, with transport in a coordinated way. Now, in all of the successful cities around the world, the top cities around the world, this is what happens. In Singapore, in Paris, in Tokyo, we have one strategic plan and the municipalities and the sectoral organizations work together with one plan. The problem I think we have had in Bogota and in Cundinamarca is many, many plans and every organization at the municipal level, at the sector level, is doing the right thing according to their plan. But having 20 plans doesn't give you a good uh, regional growth. So we need to do that. And what I think is the most practical thing is to start with really creating the transport system that will integrate the existing transport with the places where people are already moving and living and at the same time creating new spaces where new houses can be created. There is a legacy of 50 years of growth without coordination. And so there is a lot in the region that needs to now be made good by providing services, connectivity, utilities to the places where people are living. But in the future, the new houses, the new homes should be created in the areas where it's easiest to provide the services. Those are the places that have good transport connectivity.